Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to That BS Guy, your one-stop shop for everything bariatric surgery related. And today, we are going to talk about vertical sleeve gastrectomy, all about the BSG. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm not going to bother doing sound effects today <laughs> in editing, so have fun with that. Anyways, uh, we have some fun things to talk about. One of the biggest questions I get, you know, I had the duodenal switch surgery. So, um, the, the big thing that a lot of people ask, and, the, and by far one of the most popular surgeries out there, is the uh, vertical sleeve gastrectomy, VSG, or an otherwise known as the gastric sleeve surgery. So, um, it is technically one of the most innovative types of weight loss surgeries and the most popular option performed today. Um, the gastric sleeve procedure, um, you take the size of the stomach and make, it, and make it significantly reduced, almost creating a tube, resulting in reduced hunger and feeling full faster. Um, so, what that looks like is I'm gonna scoot this way a little bit and you should be able to see, I'll, I can't ever do this right, <laughs> right here. You should be able to see a picture right here once I put that in post edit. Um, and what, what you see right there is, I still can't do this, can't Vanna White this at all. Um, <laughs> mm. <laughs> uh, what you can see right there is a picture of what the, what the gastric sleeve does. So you can see that it uh, creates a staple. They cut the main, the main part of that stomach out of there uh, and create a tube. And the tube width can vary, but typically what you'll see is the tube will go from, you know, your stomach will go from the size of a deflated football down to the width of your thumb, okay? Uh, and so it's a very, very restrictive surgery. So I'm here to talk about the benefits and why people maybe should consider this surgery over maybe like the surgery that I had, like the duodenal switch. I know I talk a lot about the DS surgery on this channel. Um, nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that's what I had, so obviously I can speak to it a little bit more. But VSGers, let me tell you, you know, I feel like I'm part of your family just a little smidge, just a smidge, because the first part of my surgery was the, the VSG. It was exactly pretty much the same as, as what you get with that surgery. So with that being said, I want to cover some benefits and some basics. So one of the things that people ask is why, why do they just remove it? Why don't, why don't they just clamp it off like you do in the gastric band, things like that. So by removing a large part of the portion of the stomach, the gastric sleeve uh, causes restriction in the stomach. So less amount of food that you can absorb into, into there and therefore it naturally will decrease caloric intake, um, which helps stem the onset of weight loss, okay? So, uh, and it also, that big fatty part of the stomach um, has a lot of hunger hormones known as ghrelin. I think it's I think it's how do you say it? it's ghrelin, 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 ghrelin. Uh, the individual, and so like basically, you as a person would be less hungry uh, throughout the day as well. So not only are you taking in less calories, but you're also not feeling as hungry. Which to me, being hungry and not feeling full is a big reason why. Uh, why people tend to blow up in the first place. You never feel satiated. So unlike the lap band, gastric sleeve surgery is a permanent solution So um, to lose weight. And it, and it, and it kind of changes your, your, your body's the metabolic thermostat. The sleeve is considerably safer uh, compared to the other commonly performed bariatric procedures like the gastric bypass or the DS surgery like I had. Um, so what I'm telling you is, is that the, the lap band, which I do not recommend to anybody, but I will talk about it in a later video as well. Um, it's a foreign object in there that just clamps down in your stomach, stomach uh, oper operationally, whatever it may be, and they kind of tighten it with a little valve thing um, to create like a pouch, kind of like similar to the gastric bypass. But um, the, the neat thing about the VSG is that it doesn't really change anything about the way your body processes calories. So you still absorb 100% of what you eat. There's no internal rerouting of your intestines to do any kind of malabsorptive things. So this is strictly a restrictive surgery. Uh, so the benefits of that is that, you know, over time, 
your stomach naturally, just because this is the way life works, will start to stretch out and you can eat a little bit more normalized and you don't have as many bathroom issues or any kind of weird stuff going on that way uh, with, your, with, with your intestines. With that being said though, um, there is also a lot of things to take in consideration as you go through the VSG. It's things are not, you still have to let your stomach heal and what have you. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the recovery time and what have you here in just a second. But just know that out of all the surgeries go, this one is probably the most adjustable and I'll, I'll talk to you a little bit about that, okay? So uh, realistic, expectations like when should you really consider you know doing uh, the VSG surgery so do you have a BMI over 30 okay so like for example when I was looking at surgeries for me my BMI was almost 50 and so I needed something a little bit more drastic and um, with a BMI of 30 plus a lot of heavier set people who may not be they, I mean, they may classifiably morbidly obese with some core morbid, core morbid, morbid, uh, morbidities, morbidities, <laughs> whatever it may be. Um, yes, that, that you may have that, but the thing is, is that, you know, uh, you don't have to be as drastic. You know, you can have this restrictive component surgery and still be extremely successful. Uh, I know a lot of people that have had just the sleeve surgery that have lost almost just as much weight as I have. And um, it's a little disconcerting, you know, whatever. But once again, I've also seen people who have had the, the gastric sleeve surgery that have lost the weight and gained it right back. So there's, there's two sides to every coin, right? So um, other things for qualifying, are you between the ages of 16 and 65-ish? You know, if you're over 65, eh, I don't know if it's really worth it at this point to really go for that. Uh, any younger than 16, your body's not really even developed enough, your stomach's not full grown, it's probably not in a good situation. And lastly, are you mentally ready for it? Like, what do you, do you, are you prepared to have realistic expectations set upon you for weight loss and maintaining that after you have that? Because it's a tool, it's not an I win button, it's not a fix, fix all. You have to be able to stand for it, you have to be able to go through with it uh, mentally and manage your diet because if you still eat like crap, you're still not gonna lose weight. You might lose a little bit just from the, the lack of caloric intake, but once your stomach starts to adjust and you get back into rhythm, people find ways to eat around it, you know? And I, I don't mean physiologically eating around it, but what I mean is that they find ways to still eat really crappy and they don't lose weight and they end up gaining that weight back. So, you know, just keep in mind. But how much weight could you lose? You know, statistically speaking, um, according to the study by the National Center of Biotechnology Information, NCBI, the percentage of excess weight loss uh, was a staggering 82% in the first year alone. So this means your VSG surgery within that first year is nearly just as effective as the more invasive surgeries like the gastric bypass and the duodenal switch, regardless of the variation of the switch. So that's great, okay? Um, gastric sleeve patients vary from 63% up to 100% of their excess weight loss in the first 12 months, which is absolutely huge. Uh, the success rates continue to grow year after year after year. So um, three months, you know, if you're a VSG year, uh, 25 to 35% excess weight you should expect to lose. Six months up to, you know, up to 62.2%, so around 60% of your excess weight. And after 12 months, you should be losing anywhere between 63%, even up to 100% of the excess weight that you've had. So really exciting stuff for something that's not that invasive, okay? And oh, these kind of surgeries scare people sometimes because they're changing their, their body physiologically and it, it can be a scary prospect, but the VSG tends to be more um, streamline. First of all, if you have if you have health insurance that will cover it, this is usually the surgery that they will cover. First of all, uh, number two, there's less health implications that go along with this. It's less invasive, less um, less complications uh, that will necessarily go over it. So, so what are the the health benefits of besides just weight loss that uh, that people with people with this surgery, that people who do get this surgery have? Um, 
something to consider. So asthma, breathing issues tend to get improved. Type 2 diabetes can either go away completely or be drastically minimized on the impact of your diet. Uh, sleep apnea. I mean, I had sleep apnea when I, when I had my surgery. Uh, of course, remember, I have the, the duodenal switch surgery, but the first part is, is the sleeve, so we'll, you know, take it with a grain of salt. Um, but I know people that have definitely had the sleeve and no longer have sleep apnea, and so it's nice to not have to be tethered to an outlet in order for you to have a good night's sleep. Arthritis, joint pain, you know, with all that weight not weighting you down, you, you actually can run again, you can have, be more active, you can bend over and pick things up. I mean, it's great, you know, like there's so many benefits that come with being in a normal weight range that you just don't really think about once you're, when you get that big. Um, headaches and migraines, high cholesterol and blood pressure, infertility, okay, so if you're a woman and you're looking to get pregnant, this, losing that weight, you know, having that, you know, your chemical balance be back into a normal line can help you actually get pregnant. Uh, for those of you who don't want to get pregnant, sorry, and then mean to ruin your day, but I mean, you know, that's what birth control is for, I suppose, and all the other stuff. Uh, GERD and acid reflux, so if you have, you know, heartburn, you know, this surgery will actually help you a little bit try and manage that. Cardiovascular disease, so it drastically reduces the, you know, the propensity to have a heart attack, and then obviously back pain and joint pain because you're not carrying as much weight around on you. So all of those things are huge benefits to the vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery. So, um, you know, obviously there's the whole like losing weight, having better looks and having that self-confidence boost. Um, but, you know, if you're morbidly obese, that's gonna help you get, the, get that back. The distinctive advantage of the gastric sleeve surgery compared to other weight loss procedures is the preservation of your anatomy. So you're really just making your stomach smaller and and you're not changing the way your body processes calories. Okay, so my body was completely changed, whereas a VSG -er, it's the same thing. They absorb everything, but they have a much smaller stomach. And so, you know, they're, they're preserving their anatomy while also reducing obesity-related diseases, improving health, and longevity. Um, and what's once moreover, if you find that the VSG is not the surgery that's that's working for you, it's also can be revised into other bariatric procedures, such as the re-sleeve. So if your, your sleeve uh, stretches out, you can actually have it recut. You can do that. Um, sleeve to bypass, sleeve to duodenal switch, and even adding a gastric band as uh, to the gastric sleeve. I don't know why you would do that, but hey, you know, to each their own. Um, once again, it's purely a restrictive procedure, therefore there is no occurrence of malabsorption um, problems like you they find in the duodenal switch or the gastric bypass. So really exciting stuff folks. So so what's it take? Like what how long does the surgery take? Um, how long does it don't and the best options, you know, to get you back on your feet, the surgery you know, once you get approved, assuming you're going through, you know, your uh, your insurance. If you're doing it out of out of uh, on your out of your own dime, that this whole thing pro process might be different. Um, and I can talk a little bit about that at the end of this video. So if you are interested in having having information about that, pay attention to the end of the video. Uh, but typically, it's in um, it's a you know two nights, two to three nights in the hospital. Uh, to kind of recover and have observation, make sure there's no leaks, things of that nature. The surgery itself is around an hour and a half to two hours uh, once you go under. Uh, and then you can go back to work within two to three weeks uh, of your surgery. So it's not, I mean, you take two weeks of vacation to do this. You should be, you know, as long as your job is low impact. If you have a desk job, you could probably go back even sooner. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's pretty fast recovery time overall. So let's talk about, is it dangerous? Like what, what are the things that you should be looking out for? So um, I'll just say this, it's probably the safest out of all of the bariatric surgeries that, that there are out there. You know, I, I tend to think it's even safer than the gastric uh, band uh, because it's not a foreign object being put into your body. But hey, you know, can there be, you know, every, every surgery can result in a death. So just be mindful that you're gonna go over go under the knife, so to speak. You know, you are taking that inherent risk. Would it be, you know, 
bacteria, complications, all that kind of fun stuff. So just know that surgery is surgery, regardless of the type of surgery, and there's always a risk involved in any surgery whatsoever. What's what happens. So, um, so let's talk about the side effects and complications that sometimes arise. So minor side effects, gas pain, bruising of your abdomen, uh, nausea, inflammation, and short-term hair loss. So the hair loss comes from lack of you know, nutrition. Uh, and that comes like as your body kind of shocks itself into not eating as much and not doing that. So um, there are ways to get around that. Uh, I will make another video on, on some of that kind of those kind of things as well. But right now, just know that those are not deal breakers. In my opinion, those are not things. Now, the severe side effects are you can have worse in some cases like acid reflux. Like you can actually have really, really painful acid reflux. Uh, you can get pneumonia. Um, after surgery, just like with any surgery, you can have blood clots if you don't watch yourself and gallstones. So uh, for the other surgeries, like the duodenal switch surgery, they highly recommend getting your gallbladder removed in the process of it. Um, with the sleeve, you don't necessarily have to, but sometimes because of the way your diet changes, you do end up getting gallstones. So they sometimes recommend the removal of the gallbladder at the same time because they, it's just, you, they can use the same incisions to just remove it. Um, other complications, short term, bleeding and leaks. So leak rate is probably around, you know, one-ish percent. Very, 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 very slim chance of having a leak. Um, stomach obstructions, stricture and abdominal abscesses. So just some stuff that happens, you know, to your wounds and maybe some opening. And then a long-term delayed leak, meaning that one of your sutures comes open and, you know, you might have to go back under surgery and have them restaple it. All of these things are possibilities and have happened to people. So it is something to note that just because your surgery is successful within the first week, if you're pushing yourself too fast, too far, trying to eat things you're not supposed to eat, you can actually burst open your stomach and you know you can go septic and things like that. So just be mindful that you need to follow the processes that the doctors lay out for you because it's extremely important if you're gonna go through this, this, uh, this step. So what is the steps? What are the things that actually happen you know, when you have the gastric sleeve surgery. So you, you get your surgery lying face up, you know, they apply general anesthetic. So when they put the mask on you, uh, they also insert a breathing tube once you start to go under. Um, same thing happened with um, the door on the switch. And when I woke up, I had a breathing tube in me, but you know, you don't notice it. I mean, you're unconscious when that happens. So if you're scared of that, like don't worry about that. The worst part's when you wake up and they have to take it out and you really don't even know what's going on until it's there. Uh, surgeon makes anywhere between three to five very small incisions. They're, they're about yay big. Um, typically here, 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 or here, here. Sorry, I'm gonna do it back. Here, 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 here. And then they usually have a draining tubes incision somewhere along there as well. Um, Hollow steel tubes, known as trocars, um, are placed through, through, through the tiny incision as a pathway. So that if they have a machine that does it, that's those little arms for the machine. Otherwise, they have like the little, almost like, <laughs> have you ever seen, seen those big sticks that you can pick up things without bending over? It's kind of like that, only it's like very, very precise. So they have these, those are called trocars. Um, and so that allows them to go in through those tiny incisions uh, to perform the operation. Your abdomen is filled with carbon dioxide. So it, they puff you up like a balloon, like a literal balloon to separate the stomach wall from the, from the small intestine. So let me be very clear, that CO2 is probably gonna be the most painful thing after the surgery. That was by far the worst part of the surgery for me. So uh, just know that they, to get that stuff out, you have to walk around, you have to start moving around, you have to burp, fart, whatever it may be, but you have to get that out of your system in order for you to feel better. Otherwise, you're gonna have searing pain, uh, not searing pain, but like very but very bad pressure pains while you have that gas still in your system. Um, the, the, surgeon, uh, da, 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 the surgeon inserts a probe equipped with a built-in specialized cam camera. It's called a laparoscope. Uh, along with other small pencil-like surgical instruments so they can see on a screen what they're looking at because obviously they can't see through your skin and they need to know what's going on. Uh, the liver is gently pushed aside with a retractor. Uh, the, greater, the greater curvature is released uh, starting from the antrum and approximately two inches of the pylorus. So the pylorus is the valve at the bottom of, it's kind of like a sphincter <laughs> for, your, for your stomach. So they start about uh, approximately two inches uh, of the pylorus upwards, and then they start cutting me, and they create that sleeve. 
Uh, the surgeon finds the encloses the hiatal hernias if present to prevent gastro uh, reflux disease. Uh, an endoscopic cutter stapler then joint cuts and staples the stomach shut along with the the insert. I think it's a bougie, <laughs> a bougie inserted through the main mouth as a guide. To finish off the process there. Um, you know, basically, as after they move the stuff through your mouth as a guide, um, three lines of titanium staples, like really high-end staples, uh, close close your pouch. So this this thing right here, uh, just a tube. One side of it's all just staples. Um, then they typically will reinforce the staple line with sutures to make sure no stomach leakage and stretching takes place. Um, and then the surgeon leaves a drain in the abdominal abdominal cavity uh, as a precaution for early detection of a leak. Uh, the drain is removed before release. So the drain, there's a draining tube here. That's what that is. Um, so it's it's to it's to kind of make sure that you're not going to have any big problems there. So all in all, gastric sleeve is a tried and true big deal type of surgery. Um, any of these bariatric surgeries are big deals. They're, they're life-changing, they're life-saving. Um, but just know that you have, you have many different options. And so, you know, while I had the duodenal switch because my BMI was, you know, pushing 50, uh, you know, if you're, you know, have a BMI of anywhere between 30 to 40, I mean, you're probably gonna be looking at this surgery more than any other one because you don't need to go drastic in order to make yourself better. Sometimes it's just little tiny things that can, help you tip the scale in order to be healthier. Um, so VSG people, people looking at getting a VSG or people who have had a VSG, you know, feel free to leave your comments and questions below. And you know, if, if I don't have the answer initially, I will find it for you. Um, and or I can direct you in a, in, to a location that would have that answer for you as well. Um, just know that make sure if you're in the early stages of planning for these type of surgeries that you know you research and you research and you research and you figure out which one is going to really work best for you um that's the best thing i can give you uh, as far as this uh, as far as these surgeries are concerned uh, vsg has saved countless lives um has had tremendous effects on people's appearance and self-esteem and health uh i have i know firsthand at least 10 people right now that off the top of my head that have had this surgery and have never regretted it um well they regretted it initially because of the discomfort but after a while i mean it was one of the best things they ever did so um highly encourage you to continue your research don't just take my word for it um remember this this uh this this channel is not dedicated to give medical advice it is merely for information and entertainment um, so before you seek out any diet or surgery options please consult your physician to make sure that you are appropriate for said surgery now with that being said thank you so much for watching if you have not already liked and subscribed please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button with the little bell down below that really helps me out I think we're around 165 subscribers on my way to a thousand. Once we get to a thousand, then I can breathe a sigh of, you know, of uh, victory, I guess you could say. Uh, and, you know, for those of you, uh, this little message, for those of you who uh, might not have insurance that will cover this surgery or, you know, have to pay for it out of pocket. I mean, this this surgery, particular surgery, can cost any, like anywhere around $20,000 and uh, if you pay for it out of pocket. so. Oftentimes, people sometimes will go out of, out of country or whatever it may be. Um, my channel actually has a partnership with uh, Mexico Bariatric Center, uh, which is based out of Tijuana, Mexico, uh, via the hospital, uh, me, Dr. Hospital. And they do, they, all they do is bariatric surgeries down there. That's actually where I had my surgery at. So if you were uh, interested in having a discount on your VSG or whatever surgery that you're looking at getting, Feel free to go to this link up here. There's also a link that you can click down below um, and submit your information and they can get in contact with you. No obligation, but it can save you some money on that surgery. You can't get that savings any other way. Um, it's only through this portal because they, you know, as a former patient, they are letting me uh, give something back to you. So I'm really excited to have that partnership to give back to the community that watches my, that watches my uh, YouTube channel. So. With that being said, if you have any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, feel free to post them down below. Thank you so much for tuning in today and 
great, great luck on your research, and I really hope that everything works out for you if you are considering the VSG. If you want to see any, any other uh, information on the other surgeries, those videos are coming. I have one already on the duodenal switch, so feel free to watch that. Otherwise, have a great one, and I will see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.